Now, Christmas TV ratings apparently have been their lowest ever on record, apart from the record-breaking <laughs> New Swimming Christmas <laughs> Eve special, of course. Thank you. <laughs> Two million. Thank you very much for watching. But, um, but actually, you know, people didn't have a lot else to do, Janet, so everyone's yeah. looking for something good on the box. Uh, what was the one you picked out? I loved Motherland, the Christmas special. It was on uh, the day before Christmas Eve, and I've never watched Motherland in the past, and so many of my friends have told me it's an absolute hoot. This episode was, it delivered everything. A load of women re behaving really, really <laughs> badly. So they went round to Posh Amanda's dreadful Christmas party uh, with the tinsel and tiaras theme. And um, Julia, Anna Maxwell Martin, started the episode by her husband rings up and she goes, what, pe what piece of tat are you going to buy me this year? And it was... <laughs> Absolutely. I think it was very reflective, wasn't it, of what will be going on in a lot of, of households and women's lives. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it's brilliant. I wish I'd have watched it, but I, I tried to watch it, but I realised that there was a backstory, so I need to go back and watch. Yeah, because I was I was just going to say to you, if you haven't seen it, I mean, you can watch the Christmas special on its own, actually. Yeah, I think um, so. It's quite easy. But um, the, the Christmas special is available on BBC iPlayer. Series one, Brenda, yes. is on Netflix. Okay. Series two is on Amazon Prime. Got okay, both of so those. So if you want to yeah. um, catch up. Now, getting hot under the collar, Brenda and Colleen this morning literally steam coming out of their ears about Bridgerton. They're literally panting. And exhale. <laughs> Colleen said to me, oh, my goodness, you've got to watch Bridgerton. Did you binge watch it, did you say, the whole thing? I binge watched eight episodes. I was up till half past three in the morning. I couldn't <laughs> stop watching it. And I'm going, I, I need to watch it forever. Well, everyone's saying, Colin, it's, it's, it's very different because it's, you know, it, it's a period drama with a difference, isn't it? Almost like a period fantasy. Um, so what is it that's captured you about this? <laughs> well, you just have Keep to look clean. at the Duke. <laughs> Honestly, the Duke. The Duke of, ha this is the Duke of Hastings. The Duke. Yeah, but there was more... Simon. The, the... Go, 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 Cole. No, go on, I just said Simon. I know him as Simon. You can call him the Duke. <laughs> <laughs> The, but she, she's more on the Simon says. But I was like, there's the period, the costumes. I always, I love a period drama anyway. But there was, I love the way that they they transformed new music into a period era. I yes. just love the whole whimsical, lovey, and the women were so strong as well. And it was just, yeah. it was, it was just amazing from start to finish. Janet. I lasted 12 minutes. It was like watching a box of dairy milk or no, no quality street chocolate colours. And the leading lady seemed so thin with the face pointing up at you. She looked so fragile. I hate that. And I thought the dialogue was drivel. I think honestly. it was a great who done it. It was oh. like who done it. Let them you. like it. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind it. of on the fence here because because you both told me I had to. You know, I'm you watching watch it again. It. I'm going to start watching it again. I watched the first episode. I'm on episode one, so I don't love it. I don't hate it. I haven't kind of gone. Oh my god! And I haven't gone. I hate it. Yeah. So I'm. I'll, I'll let you right. know. Yeah. I'm going to keep oh. doing that. Um, yeah. Just very quickly, how long have we got before the break? Oh, only 30 seconds. Right, a lot of talk oh. about the masked singer, Sausage. Should we just have a listen to Sausage? Colleen, people are saying that that could be Stacey Solomon, our Stacey. Now, she wouldn't be allowed to tell us if it was her. What do you think? I think it definitely sounds like Stacey. Do you? Okay. Uh, yeah, I do. I do. There's elements of it. I don't and think she it loves sounds like chips. She loves sausage and chips, that's very oh. true. Well, watch this space, as they say. That was our <laughs> bit of Christmas telly. We've got lots of... <laughs> so, that was sausage on the mask singer and people have been speculating that that could be our loose women Stacey Solomon now Colleen before the break said at first she thought it was but the more she listened to it she's not so sure Brenda what do you think I think it's a, a, an older lady and I, I, I think she might have a bit she might be black I think do you yeah I reckon. any any guesses I'm, tr I'm tr I, I sit there with me eyes closed I'm thinking it's an actress that we don't think can sing oh. and I, I well can't, listen Rebecca's can't. tweeted in she said she thinks it's you no. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> the thing is, we wouldn't be allowed to tell. Is it you, Janet? <laughs> I'm 
is this not me? Well, I don't but know. Now I think it might be Brenda because she is making a big fuss trying to divert the whole subject uh, away from her. Yeah, because she wouldn't be allowed to tell us. Or Stacey, if it is Stacey, we genuinely wouldn't no. know. Well, it's not Brenda's me. Brenda's louder than that. <laughs> People, didn't people think that the, the mermaid, or what, not the mermaid, was Colleen at one point? The seahorse the was sea you. Horse. The, the sea... yeah. Yeah? They so thought it was me. Well, I and didn't it, get... It wasn't... It was Mel I B, didn't wasn't get it? that. Yeah, yeah, it was Mel yeah. B. I Mel didn't B, get that yeah. one. Well, anyway, The Masked Singer is 7 o'clock on ITV on Saturday, so um, we will hopefully find out who the next one to be unmasked will be. Yes, you're right. See.